In this question, we are told that a man standing in a gorge between two large cliffs claps his hands at a steady rate and hears two echoes. The first comes after two seconds and the other after three seconds. If the speed of sound is 340 meters per second, what is the distance between the two cliffs? Now in order to solve this question, let's put down this information in form of a sketch. Now using sketches is always a very good method because uh, it assists you to understand the question. For instance, in this case, we can assume that the two cliffs are separated by maybe this the the second cliff over here this is the first cliff and the two cliffs are separated by some distance let's say d and we are told that he hears the first echo after two seconds and this and the second one after three seconds. That means he must be nearer one of them than the other. So let's call this cliff A and this cliff B. And then we assume that he is nearer cliff A. So that the sound travels in this direction through some distance x. And then comes back through the same distance x after a time of two seconds. On the other side, the same sound travels in this direction at the same instant, travels through some distance that we can call, okay, this distance we have assumed that it is x. This other distance that it covers in this direction will be a d minus x. d minus x. So it travels through a distance equal to d minus x and another distance equal to d minus x. Now we have just learned that for us to calculate the speed of sound in air using the clap echo method, we use this important equation. V is equal to 2d over t, where d is the distance from where the person is clapping to where the wall is, and t is the time taken for sound to travel from where the person is hits the wall and then comes back. So if we apply this equation for this section here, we'll see that we've been told that the speed of sound is 340 meters per second and we can say this one's going to be equal to 2. Now the value of d is x. Notice that this d is different from this d. This is the standard equation for calculating speed of sound in air by clap echo method. But this capital D here is the distance between the two cliffs, cliff A and cliff B. We are just applying this equation to this section of the wall or this section where the, the value of D now is equal to x so that we can say instead of 2D we say 2x divided by the time 2 seconds. And we can see that 2 and 2 will cancel out and we can get the value of x directly which is 340 meters. Now we come to this other section here. Again we apply the same equation. V is equals to 2d over t. Again the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. The distance covered is 2 into d minus x over the time this time is 3 seconds. Remember it took 3 seconds for this other section. So we are going to have 3 seconds there. Let's not include this unit here because we have not included the units for the other sections. So it's alright that way. Okay, we can go right ahead and substitute for x we can put 340. So we can have 340 here, this 340 is equal to, I can open the brackets first, I'm going to have 2d minus 2x divided by 3. 
I can go right ahead and multiply both sides by 3 in order to get rid of this denominator. So this side, if I multiply by 3, this 3 will cancel out. Then on this side, I'm going to have 340 times 3. This will give me, again, I have my calculator handy over here. So 340 multiplied by 3, I'm going to get 1020. So I have 10, 20 over there. On the other side, I have 2D minus 2. The value of X is 340. Remember that. I can simply substitute it directly here. So that the only unknown I have here is D. So I have 10, 20 is equal to 2D minus 680. 2 times 340 uh, is 680. When this 680 comes to the other side, of course I'll have to add it on to 1020. So I add 680 is equals to 2D. Let me create some more working space here. Now I have the previous 1080, I just add 680. And you can see again the need for retaining the previous value on your calculator. When you need to use that value, it is immediately available for you to use. So times 2D and our D will be equal to 1700 divided by 2. Again, 1700, I simply need to come here, divide by 2, and I get 850 meters as the distance from one cliff to the next. And this question is just as simple as that. It may have appeared a bit complicated when you read uh, the question, but the moment you put down a sketch, the importance of putting down sketches is this. It helps you, first of all, to see all the details in the question. The other thing is, as you put down information on the sketch, it prompts your mind to remember important information that you have learned before. So this question was really that simple. For those who have been having difficulties with this question, I hope you've been able to see how it is solved.